What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan T in case you are new here and if you're new here Hey, hit me with a subscribe and a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated and it's not gonna kill you now moving on to the topic of the video here We are gonna be talking about this Boeing that I traded this morning uh, Now I wasn't initially gonna make a video about this But after I checked back in on the chart and I said oh wow this happened that happened blah 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 after I exited the trade I said you know what let me make a video for them. So here we are making a video alrighty, so the trade today, the profit on it was $1,916 that we made. And the entire, like, what, what do you want to call it? Like, the time frame of the trade was literally, like, 10 minutes just about. I started in at 637. I was out at 647. So within 10 minutes, I made $1,900. Now, this was a bit of a heavier size trade. Um... Because I didn't get to get in at the point that I wanted to go in, but at the same time, I did have the confirmation and like confidence in my trade that, okay, we're going. I missed it a little bit, so I'll try to make up for it here. So I kind of had to adjust my plan a little bit, but that's besides the fact I don't want to bore you guys with the whole long video here because, you know, then people start to complain that it's too long. So, um,. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to point out where I got in and out on the charts. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the prices of everything. I bought seven contracts at 700 each. I then added in 10 more contracts at 749 each. So that's, if I can do this real quickly in my head, that is 7,490 that this cost. And then this part right here costs 4,900. So that's about 12,390 there. That was the cost of the trade. So about 12,500, a little bit heavier of a trade than normal for me, uh, but like I said, it was semi-justified. Uh, then I, I sold it all, you know, periodically. So let's go in, break it down on the chart. I was in at 637 and then I added in at 640. So initially I wanted this to come down and dip to the 145 area for me to get an entry. That was like the main plan on the watch list and everything. But unfortunately we didn't get that low of a dip. It should have been around this area that I would have been re-entering and actually was thinking about that, but I was saying it, it's looking a little bit weak right here, right now. It's doing my little basketball thing that I talk about in some of my free webinars that I do for you guys. Um, if you've been to my free webinars, you, well, I'm going the wrong way now. I'm talking about something that doesn't even matter right now, guys. Anyways, um, so that, but that's besides the fact. Um, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a dip to the 145 area to get into the trade and then that was my plan obviously from there but we didn't get that so i kind of had a compromise because i knew like all right we're still going to go up all my flashlights were lining up the market's looking good this is looking good that's looking good you know what i mean my hair is looking good <laughs> um it's actually not i need to do my hair today anyways so this is where i got into the trade now i got in it only seven contracts i got in it light size because i was hoping still that maybe we can get a little bit of a push back down for me to add in at a better price and I wanted to just, you know, at least start into the trade in case it doesn't go lower at all. So I, I started in seven contracts right here. And as soon as I saw that, all right, now we're not getting the dip that I wanted right now, at least not for a morning momentum trade. That's where I went in right here at 640. And I added in pretty much doubling up a little more than doubling up. Even I, you know, I would have doubled up if I started in 10 here, then added 10 here. But I started in super light size here, doubled up pretty much here into a full size position, which was what was it? 17 contracts. Yeah, 17 contracts total there. Um, and I wanted to hold it to see if we can get like 150, 250 area. But I started to see some signs of weakness. So this is where I started slowly but surely chopping out of the trade. I sold 10 of the contracts at 644, which is right here. This is the 644 that I sold 10 of them, basically getting out of the majority of the contracts as it pierced through that 150 area and hit that 150.50. That's where I locked in 10 of the contracts and I was going to hold the rest in hopes of us hitting 150, 250. And then who knows, maybe I would have even held like two to see if we got 155 if all the things were lining up. But as we move forward, I exited two more contracts at 646 which is right around here. And I exited the trade completely right here, basically at the 150, 150, because I kind of saw the reversal sign coming in. I saw it was running out of steam. Um, and obviously it completely reversed right after that. Um, now it did come back up and give you another opportunity to get out. But my point behind this whole idea is look at what happened. So this is why I was excited to make the video is because in my previous videos, I would talk about 
you know, the idea that says, you know, you get into a trade at point A, you exit at point B, but somehow it ends up shooting even further than point B and you would have made so much more money and you get a little upset with yourself and you start saying things like, oh my God, you know, this, this, and that. If only I held, if only I did this, if only I did that. Next time I'm going to hold longer or this and that, so on and so forth. That's why I wanted to make this video to kind of point that out to you guys that don't do that. Don't get greedy. That is literally greed. That is the emotion of greed coming into fruition within you. That's bad. Don't go beyond what you know better than. So if you have a plan, stick to that. If you can tell that things are running out of steam and they're starting to reject an area, then you uh, read that. That's like the whole idea that I'm trying to say here. Don't let your emotions of, oh, last time this, last time that, come to you because, I mean, right now, hey, if I was in it right now, I'd be at a loss. See what I'm saying? Not only would I have just given back the whole just about $2,000 profit there, but I would be at a losing position now too. So that's basically like this whole trade here to kind of sum it up for you guys. Um, and like I said, I sold out the rest of the trade there at the 647, which I mean, they're all right here at the same area anyways. Um, and that's pretty much that guys. If you want to do the whole calculations, you can do that on your end. I don't want to you know, spend too much time, but it's very simple with some of them. Like eight, this is 10 of them that I sold. They just go through at different, you know, I don't know why they separate sometimes. The timing is the same. Uh, but either way, you know, 10 of them at 8,200. Well, I guess I just answered it right there. 10 of them at 820 is 8,200. And then the other two that I sold, it's a little confusing, but it's 1,706. Then the rest I sold for 4,400. And then the total cost, that, well, the total amount that we sold it for was 14,306. Cost of the trade was 12,390. Subtract the cost from what you totaled sold it for. And that gives you the 1,916 profit. And that's pretty much that. Um, and this is why I wanted to make this video for you guys. Just to kind of show like, you know, it completely reversed. So don't get greedy. Uh, but that's pretty much that, guys. I don't want this to be longer than five minutes, but it got even longer. So I, I don't really want to ramble more about it. Um, and that's pretty much that, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And, you know, the deal, check the description below if you want to, you know, join our watch list or learn how to do this stuff or follow me on social media. Or things like that. Yeah, I try not to put, push the idea too much, but I still want to let you guys know it's there. Um, so that's pretty much that. You know, they say it doesn't matter how great of a product you have if no one knows about it. You get what I'm trying to say? Anyways, all right, guys, we're moving on. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.